Exercise 16.4 is going to incorporate both single independence and double verticals. We're going to do some chromatic work, which we see a lot in the literature, and we're going to bring back that concept of a placeholder. As you play single independent lines, it is really easy to stop focusing on the outer mallets and for them to get wider. So I put the placeholders in here, which will force you to keep those outer mallets at an interval of a fifth. This is what this first measure looks like. You can see at that slow tempo that I was playing in the center of the bars. At the first couple of metronome markings in the progress chart, you might be able to do that. But eventually, I would encourage you, as you progress up to a faster tempo, that you start playing on the edge of the bars. In measure three, you're going to see something very commonly called a turnaround when it comes to a chromatic scale. This is when your mallets start in this position and turn to the other position. So as you are playing the notes written, your hands are going to move that way. This is a great opportunity to utilize an X stroke as you make that transition. And in that process, you might wanna bring your single and independent strokes up just a little bit higher. With this exercise, it actually looks more difficult than it really is. When you see chromatic passages, it's necessary to write in a lot of accidentals, so you'll see a lot more ink on the page. This exercise is a very easy pattern that I'm sure you will memorize within the first couple of bars. So be, just make sure you know this is not as difficult as it looks. With this exercise, I'm sure you will eventually get the natural flow of it. Since it is a chromatic dominated exercise, it's easy not to hear right notes. Make sure you're playing continuous chromatic notes and perfect fifths. It's easy to maybe miss a fifth and not realize it because of the tonality of the exercise. When we play a lot of chromaticism, sometimes it's easy to fudge a note here and there. But play one bar at a time if you need to, and you will hear the natural progression of each measure. In the first measure of this exercise, you'll see that your left hand has to sit, play single independence fairly quickly and then follow up with a double vertical. Sometimes that motion can be a little tricky. Here's what this looks like just with the left hand. The second half of the exercise does the exact same thing that left hand did in the first measure, but with the right hand. This is what that looks like. <laughs> 